Hello, today we are beginning to study chemical formulas. What is a chemical formula? What is it made of? Chemical symbols are usually written in the first place in formulas. So these characters can be written with one letter, a capital letter, or the first letter capitalized, the second letter lowercase. Never is never written with two capital letters. Second, in any formula, there is an index that indicates the number of atoms, or this index can also be referred to as subscript. Also, at times, they display coefficients prior to the formulas. Show the number of molecules. If index shows number of atoms, then coefficient shows number of molecules. Allow us to provide a specific example. Let us assume, for instance, if it is aluminum oxide. What does this notation mean? She will represent the quantity of one. If there is no preceding number one before the formula, but it is implied, then it is stated that one molecule of the substance is depicted in the notation. This particular substance is commonly known as aluminum oxide, which is a compound formed by the elements aluminum and oxygen. In this specific case, it consists of, mind you, a total of two times one, which is equal to two, atoms of aluminum, an element denoted by the symbol Al, and having an atomic number of 13, renowned for its lightweight nature and resistance to corrosion. And in accordance with this, the chemical formula contains a total of three oxygen atoms as its constituent elements. Okay, here's the deal. This is the formula. Now let's bring up another example. Let's say if this is the formula for sulfuric acid, check it out. There's a coefficient of two in front of the formula. A coefficient of two means that in this case, it's two molecules. Sulfuric acid, a highly corrosive and strong acid, is a substance commonly used in various industrial processes. This is what will be sulfuric acid. And it is formed by, in this specific case, these particular elements that contribute to its composition. Now let's see, from how many? There's a coefficient of two in front of the formula. Two times two equals four. Individual particles known as atoms, which are the building blocks of the element hydrogen. Moving on, let's multiply two by one, which signifies that there are two atoms of the sulfur element. Although it is not explicitly stated, it is implied by the multiplication. So, the total number of sulfur atoms is two. Furthermore, in addition to that, in this particular formula, there are also, respectively, two multiplied by four, resulting in a total of eight atoms of the element oxygen. So today we examined what the chemical formula is composed of, derived from chemical symbols. Hey, examine it. This symbol can be merely one letter. And if there is a second letter, it must be capitalized. There are elements in this particular case that have one character, one letter. Prior to the formula, there can be one, two, or one without a doubt. These are our coefficients, which show the number of molecules. And besides that, there are other numbers in the formula, two and three. In this case, two, one, and four. These are indices or subscripts. And in this case, they show, please take a look. In this formula, there are two atoms and three atoms. Well, if there is a coefficient in front of the formula, then accordingly four, then two atoms, and another eight atoms of the oxygen element. Today, we tried working with simple formulas. As for how such formulas are composed, we'll talk about it in the next lesson. That's all. Goodbye.